welcome back to another video. It's Holly here and um, today we are going to be using OBM from Heat Transfer Source and I'm going to show you guys how to make a farmhouse style tea towel. We're going to use a vintage image and do something a little bit different, different than the typical um, heat transfer tea towels that you see on the internet. This is something um, completely new, something different and it's a way that you can make creative colorful project without having to do all that layering from um, HTV. So what I have is I have a um, product called OBM from Heat Transfer Source. So make sure you check out their website, heattransfersource.com, if you want more information about this product. And let's jump right into the video. So the materials that I use for this project is I picked up a $3 uh, tea towel from Ikea. Um, just a nice farmhouse style with the uh, grain sack look. I also used um, my OKI 332 printer in conjunction with um, the OBM paper from Heat Transfer Source. This is called OBM 5.4 and it comes with everything that you need to uh, print your image, the release paper, everything that you need is in this box. And then as well, I use my heat press. All right, so we're gonna print our image here. So um, I just have it up here in the preview mode. We're gonna click on it, and then we're gonna go to File. We're gonna go all the way down here to Print. And this brings up our print screen. We wanna make sure that we're printing to the right printer. So we have the Okie C332 selected. We wanna make sure that we change the paper size to A4. And then also what we can do is we can change the size of our image. So I'm gonna make it um, fit the paper because my paper, um, I lined it up on my tea towel and it's the right size that I want. So I wanna make it as big on the paper as I can. You wanna make sure that um, for paper feed, we feed from the multi-purpose tray. And then as well, we wanna make sure that we go to print options. This is a very important step. You wanna make sure that um, when you go to feed, you want to select media type labels. It's a very important step. If you don't, if you miss that step, the ink is not going to come out right from your laser printer. Um, we want to go back, and I'm just going to show you under layout. We, you want to make sure that you don't flip the image horizontally. So you, for this one, you need it um, the right side up because you're going to lay your OBM right down onto your project. So once you have all your settings correct, you can go ahead and um, print. So I have my OBM paper here and we are gonna make sure that we feed it into the OP printer, water mark side down. And there is our image on our OBM. So now we have to heat press, heat press this onto our tea towel. So for our image on our OBM, we have a border around here of the paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut around because if we press this down, you're gonna press down the white. Um, so we wanna cut out our image so that we just have the image pressing onto the tea towel and not the white border. So I'm just gonna cut this out. You could use, if you have a Cricut cutting machine, um, if you wanted really straight lines, you could have your Cricut cut it for you or your silhouette. Um, I'm confident that I can cut it straight enough, so I'm just going to use a pair of scissors. But that is totally an option. The other thing I could do to make it a little bit more realistic is I could kind of cut it a little bit jagged so that it looks a little more uh, vintage. So I might just do that. We'll see. I'm going to cut out the square first and then um, we'll see if I want to cut it a little bit jagged just to make it a little more realistic and not so like cut and paste, you know? We'll see here. Should I do it? Oh. I don't know, because the thing is, is I don't want to have to reprint another one and waste this one if I wreck it. Maybe we should just go for the square, I think. I think we're just going to go for the square. I'm not going to risk cutting it jagged because I'm not 100% sure. Alright guys, and this is just another neat little trick that I'm going to share with you. I actually learned this from Deborah from Heat Transfer Source. When you're pressing things and you want to make sure that your image is right in the middle, if you fold it directly in half and press that lightly in your heat press, you'll get an indentation line. And from there, you can know exactly where the middle is, so you know where to line up 
your um, graphic. So we're just gonna get that a little press. We don't have to press it all the way, um, just for a few seconds, just to get that slight indentation line. So now, when we open this up, we can see where the middle is of the tea towel. And then when I put it into my heat press, I can line the image up accordingly. So for my heat press, um, and because this image is um, vertical, I think I'm gonna turn the tea towel the other way so I have more vertical height. All right, so um, what we have to do is we have to remove the backing from the OBM. So I'm gonna peel that off. It's very thin. Just be careful when you're peeling. And then we are going to place it down onto our tea towel. Kind of line it up on that line. So in your OBM package, you get some release paper. You can use this paper up to 10 times. All right, that's what it says on the thing. So we're gonna put that over top. And then I'm just gonna put my, um, my my own release paper on top and then we're going to press. We have to do it for 30 to 40 seconds. Guys, guys, I didn't change the time on my heat press so I'm just going to press it again because I had it set for 15 seconds or 20. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hate when I forget to do things. It'll be okay, it'll be okay. Live and learn, right? All right, let's see. So it's a cool, 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 cool. It's a cool peel, and they say to remove your um, project from the heat press to cool it down, and you also have to remove the release paper when it's cool too. Release paper is cool, let's peel it off. That is really cool.